here with my dear friend, Dr. Malika, and we're gonna show hummus, which is Middle Eastern, and some Moroccan food, which is a preserved lemon. And we're gonna do it in my tiny little kitchen where it can't even fit two people, tiny but kitchens. we're gonna make it work, and it's gonna be beautiful food. We're gonna have lots of spices. You'll see how small my kitchen is. Hummus is the uh, garbanzo beans in Arabic. So you can use garbanzo beans or chickpeas, already boiled, ready, cooked. That's what we are going to use today. You can either make it from scratch mm -hmm. or you can just cheat and buy it already made. So I was going to just cheat. This is the one that's already in a dip. I got this in Sahadi, which is in Brooklyn. It's very easy and it's already been uh, no, it's called, uh, you know, when you... Blended. blended! That's what it's called, blended. I can't remember. I usually just get this, put some olive oil, maybe some pine nuts, and just sprinkle it, and it's just a really super quick cheat. And embellish it. I would add the olive oil, add a little bit of you know, cilantro on top. This one is... So you can start from scratch by buying the garbanzo beans dry. You soak them overnight and then you boil them for a long time. I use the pressure cooker, it takes about 35 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then they become like this. So this is what it... Oops! Okay. So today we just use this already and I'm just going to put the garbanzo beans in the blender. Of course, we don't need all this liquid, so I'm going to remove it. I'm going to use these garbanzo beans uh, to decorate when we have the full thing. I'm going to use two cloves of garlic here. Yeah, we have, we have different ways of uh, peeling garlic, because usually I just smash it. So we do that too, so you can just do this. Yep, and there it's you go. easier. Mm -hmm. My recipe, I put some onions too. Cilantro. I love cilantro. I put it in everything. But this is not the regular recipe. This is mine, so I put a lot of things. I also use a little bit of cumin. This is my Indian spice tray. So I have a lot of spices here. We have salt, I have turmeric, I have mustard seeds, this is cumin, this is coriander seeds, this is ground coriander, and this is hot pepper. This is an Asian subcontinent spices, which crosses a lot of different uh, cultures, and so we're going to be using it for Middle Eastern culture yes. too. Yeah. So I'm going to use a little bit of cumin, so this is like half a spoon, and you normally use it like ground, but um, since it's not ground here, I'm going to show you. So I'm just going to do this. We have to have strong hands for that. So I need to get a mortar and pestle at some point. Okay, or mm -hmm. you just use the machine, so smell it. It's really... Oh, it's very, it's fresh and very fragrant. Okay, and so this is cumin. What, this is the cumin. And tahini. Tahini is roasted sesame seeds so that becomes a paste. this is the tahini. Two teaspoons, teaspoons, olive oil, two tablespoons. And we are going to use a little bit of lemon. Lemon, oh, let me get me some lemon. You can just, you don't have a lemon squeezer. You just squeeze like this. Juice of one half of a lemon, mm -hmm. maybe half a teaspoon, salt, and now we are just blending. Okay, I'm going to blend the chickpeas into making the hummus. I don't typically use electronics. I certainly don't have the space for it. Instead of washing all of this, I've just used a strainer and a hard spoon, and then just grind it through. Grind it through. So it takes more time, but I don't have to hear this noise. Blended it, dusted it with adding the cheese. The water that what came in the can is what we use to make it uh, more liquid, to have that this consistency rather than adding more olive oil, which a lot of times people do. This is a healthier way. Beans are great, legumes are great for your health. It's filling, only requires a couple of ingredients which you can adjust. And look at that green color. The green color is from the cilantro. Regular uh, hummus does not have cilantro in it, but I just like cilantro because it's very delicious. Dr. Malika's secret recipe that she's sharing with the world. Remember the chickpeas? It's making a comeback. See, and you also show like exactly what's in the dip. I like it when people have the original herb or vegetable so that you know exactly what it is. You're not putting carrots in there because there's no carrots. Right? So these are the, the chickpeas that it was from, so you know exactly what kind of dip this is. Some chili powder, a healthier fat olive oil. 
extra virgin olive oil. Look for the dark glass containers, it's better quality. And then we have some pine nuts. Okay, so let me show you the pine nuts. You can use also a little bit of parsley. Just like this. Wow, beautiful, look at this. Gorgeous. And that's it. That's it. Thank you so much for making hummus for us. And we also had, I have also had like beet hummus before. Is that even something that you would do the same thing? You would do. But hummus does not actually mean beet hummus. Now people use hummus as the meaning of the dip of the hummus of beets. I see. Okay, so that's a misnomer that when you see that. We're just going to try it to see if we need to adjust the salt. And it's perfect. <laughs> Very good. It's delicious. You heard it from from Dr. Malika herself. And then let me try. Usually you would have some pita bread. You can toast it and slice it. But the other thing you can do is just use some sliced cucumber. Then just have a great bite. It's delicious. <laughs> it's so good. Let me finish chewing first. Hmm. It's so good. Oh my god. It's so good. Okay. It's more garlicky because we use shallot rather than red onion. It looks like this. It looks like a tiny little red onion, but it's the shape of garlic, which looks like this. It's a little bit more garlicky, but it has that beautiful red color. It has saltiness from the salt before. We have the the fat, which is a good fat from the olive oil. We have cilantro, which adds a lot of herbaceous flavor and a freshness to it. Also with the lemon, it's also very fresh. So it has that refreshing citrusy taste to it. And then the fact that you have the pine nuts and chickpeas just on top, it's like just a wonderful bite. And you don't have to have the pita bread necessarily. You can enjoy it just as a, as a snack, completely vegetarian and healthy and delicious. Good for your heart, good for your kidneys, good for your brains. So enjoy. I hope that this has been enjoyable for you and I'm going to keep on munching. So cheers. How do you say? Basaha. How do you say? Basaha. Basaha. And that means? Basaha wal With good health. With good health. So basaha. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Basaha And that's how you say it in Arabic, yes?